can't just come to school with me blog. So obviously if you go to like public school or you go to like private school, you're gonna to need to ask permission before you bring a camera and you might not be able to allow a video camera in um or video while you're in school. But if you're like most of us, you're still in online school or you're homeschool like me, then you can most definitely do um, a school day in my life vlog. So I'm not gonna say so yeah, moving on. Alright, I'm almost out of breath. <laughs> it's alright upstairs. Um, and then number 15 is following a celebrity's re morning routine slash diet. So, if I did this, it would probably be kind of really funny because I'm kind of weird. I'm like, not like most teenagers are into like these modern movies and stuff. Like, my, one of my favorite celebrities is like, um, Angela Lansbury from where she wrote. Um, she's like, sorry for saying I'm so much. She's 96 years old. So, if I was to follow her morning routine slash diet, I might be walking around with a walker or a cane and I might be eating applesauce for it just and I might have to get some dentures. So it would probably be really funny if I did that video. Um, oh God, I have to stop saying um. And then next up is recreating Pinterest outfits. So I think this would be really fun to do because there's always so many cute outfits I see on Pinterest. So I might do this video in the future and these videos all seem to be really popular because Pinterest is really popular and then um, YouTube is really popular. And then next up is what's on my iPhone. So I don't have an iPhone, so I can't really do this video, but I could do it what's on my iPad, which I haven't seen a lot of people do, but I think it's still like, pretty popular. And you could show like all the stuff that's on your iPhone, like, all your apps. You can even like if you wanted to show what's on your apps, like what's on your Pinterest boards, showing through all your Pinterest boards, your playlist, stuff like that. And showing them like your wallpaper, like having it like or show people how to make like an aesthetic iPhone, iPad, like home screen or whole iPhone that's aesthetic. And then next up is, re wait, I'm already wrong. Next up is 18, so it's story time. So story time could be, most of us, you could probably do this because everybody has a story from somewhere in their life that's somewhat interesting. So for example, like one time I went to middle school for five days and then I dropped out and that's my story time. But that's a story time for another day. Like I'm not gonna go into it today. <laughs> but yeah, moving on. And then number 19 is what I got for my birthday slash birthday vlog. So obviously you can only do this if it's um, your birthday or your birthday is coming up. You can't do it like, I can't do it right now yet because my birthday is not until August. So I'm not going to say the day. It's not until August, sometime in August. Um, yeah. And then number 20 is to get ready with me. So this is going to be a get ready with me for prom, get ready with me for graduation, like if you're in high school, graduate high school. Get ready with me for um, a game or something. Get ready with me for the first day of school, stuff like that. And then number twenty-one is a room makeover. So I kind of talked about this when I did the room talking about the room tour, but like making over your room. And like I don't want to do like a complete room maker, obviously, but I think I do want to get like a new comforter. I'm looking for like a white, roughly comforter, maybe. So if you got some e recommendations for like different um, white comforters you've seen or like white wrestling comforters or like a duvet cover then definitely comment down on below. Anyways, and the number 22 is a self-care day. So these are always really popular too where you just take a day to take care of yourself and like this includes like not just your physical health but taking care of your mental health and yeah, you can take a day to just relax. Um, you can do like some skincare stuff, take a shower obviously because I mean this is probably just me but it's really common to me or take a bath, like bath bombs. You could read your Bible. You could take the state to spend some time with God. Um, yeah. You could sleep in that day. Or you could wake up early if it helps you be more productive. And then next up is, which is kind of like a, also goes along with self-care. Um, it's a hair care routine. So I think I want to do this video, but I just haven't had a time to do it yet. And my hair care, hair care routine probably isn't very interesting. But some people's is like they show like what they put, you put in their hair, like what kind of shampoo they show you use. Um, if they put like hairspray in their hair, what kind of, what's their go-to hairstyles, how they keep their hair from being oily. Like I know for lots of teens, like oily hair sucks and it happens to me all the time. Like I don't scrub my hair just the right way. Like I literally just scrub and scrub and scrub like <laughs> scrub really hard on my hair it will be really oily. And if I don't like wash my hair every day, it will be really oily. But I also learn. When I wash my hair twice, because I washed one day when we were on our trip, I washed my hair in the morning, and I washed my hair that night before we left to go on the road because I wanted to be clean. 
but it made it super oily. So I've learned that with my hair, I need to wash it every day, but like I can only wash it once every day. So yeah, I will be oily, <laughs> even more oily. Um, and then moving on to a skincare routine. So this all kind of correlates back to self-care day. So you can show what you use for your skin, like for acne and stuff, a lot of teens struggle with that. And then, um, like if you have face wash you use, you use like different lotion. Well, actually, I don't think you put lotion on your face. Maybe? Sunscreen? <laughs> I don't know. Um, like if you use, um, uh, face mask or whatever, stuff like that. And yeah. And then next up is thrifting me slash thrifting hauls. So I'm hoping this summer, this is kind of like something I want to do this summer, is to go thrifting because it seems really fun. And like all those outfits like you see at the thrift store, like the 90s outfits and stuff are really, actually really in style right now. And so that would definitely be really fun to do because you can literally get all that stuff there for so much cheaper than if you went to like Old Navy where I try to sell you a same t-shirt that's like, um, says Airheads on it for $20. And yeah, whereas you can go to Goodwill and get it for like $2 and just wash it and it's fine. And obviously, I wouldn't recommend, like, buying, um, uh, shoes from there. But, yeah. And then also, what goes along with it is thrifting haul. Because if you're going to do a thriftly vlog, like, people are only going to watch it if they get to see, like, a haul. And if you're going to do a haul, you have to do a try on. So, definitely, if you go thrifting, do a haul, show everybody what you got. And then do a try on so people can see what it looks like and get some, maybe get some outfit ideas for their own, like, outfits. So. I'm not gonna say so, yeah. Okay, so idea number one is waking up at 5 a.m. for a week. So, this has been like a big trend on YouTube. The first time I saw this trend was on Erica Diane's channel, which you haven't subscribed to, I'll link her down below. She's an amazing channel. Um, She's growing so quickly. I think this morning I checked, she had 360,000 subscribers. So, like, congratulations, that's awesome. Um, but Her most popular video is actually waking up at 5 a.m. for a week. I think she posted like a couple months ago, maybe. It wasn't very long ago. But it's already gotten 3.7 million views. And I think that's the video that's really helped her grow her channel. Because after that's when she started getting a lot of subscribers and a lot more views. So I guess it's kind of like her viral video. But 3.7 million views is like awesome. I kind of can't imagine having a video that has over a million views. And then next up is answering people's assumptions about me. So a lot of people do this, but they just they make the mistake of calling it a Q&A. And a lot of people don't want to tap on it if it just says Q&A because it doesn't as interesting. But like... When you react to people's assumptions about you, it seems a lot more like, because, like, people love drama and tea and stuff. So, if, like, you make a really, like, you kind of have to make it clickbaity sort of. <laughs> um, like, um, assumption could be you're a really adult or something shocking like um, a celebrity crush or something like that. Like, assumptions, you have to make it interesting. You don't want to just call it like an old-fashioned Q&A because people are most likely not tap on that. But they see something like assumptions, they're like, wait, what? Like, people love drama and stuff like that. So, I'm not going to say so, yeah. Um, and then number three is try on everything in my closet. So, I'm hoping to do this video sometime in the summer. I don't know if I will be able to. I don't think it's honestly going to take me that long to film because I don't have that many clothes in my closet. I got to get some new clothes. But, yeah. Um, I've seen a lot of people do these videos. And a lot of people said it literally takes them, like, the whole day to film it. But if you're like me, you don't have that many clothes, it probably won't take you that long. But even if you do have a lot of clothes, you can probably split it into, like, different days filming it and then post it, like, if you're filming, done filming all the parts. But these are always really fun to watch and see, like, what kind of different clothes people have and stuff and get ideas for your own outfits. And then number four is school morning slash night. Yeah, school morning slash night routine. So, like, your school morning routine or your school night routine. Or this is good for any routines. Like, I love to watch school morning routines, night, or school night routines, morning routines, night routines, any routine video. Like, your weekend one, morning, school, um, vacation. People just love to watch that kind of stuff. Like, these seem to always do really well. And then, number five is how I edit my videos. So, usually for a lot of YouTubers, this is a very highly request, is it right? Requested? Yeah. Okay. Requested video on how you edit your videos, especially if you use like iMovie or something, like if you use something free that people want to pay for, like giving tips and tricks, like Lexi Marissa, I love her channel, she uses iMovie for her videos, I think she's on the computer, but she's like all kinds of tips and tricks, like how to edit on iMovie like a pro, I personally don't use iMovie, but I think it's really cool for people who do, or if you use like Kind Master, tips and tricks for Kind Master, InShot, Velo, Video Editor, I know there's a ton of other editors people use, but that's just um, all I can think of. 
And yeah, those are usually really popular too. And then number six is the billionaire morning routine, which is another trend going around right now. And this is where you follow the billionaire morning routine. So basically, it's because taking hot, not taking hot showers, just what else Taking cold showers, which I want to try this routine out, but like I'm really scared because I hate cold showers. Even though it's summer, I like to take a warm shower because it just like soothes me, relaxes me, and it sounds really weird, but yeah. Um, and then I think you journal, you meditate. Um, I don't know what time you wake up at. I think you wake up pretty early. And yeah, just look up on YouTube if you want more details about because I'm not that great at giving details. Um, I'm sorry, I'm saying that a lot. Number seven is room tour. So these are always really popular too. So like it could be just your simply a room tour or redoing your room or extreme makeover or something like that. And guys, I know you probably want to see a room tour. People, several people are asked to see a room tour. But as you know, I'm not finished my room yet. So once we have like my desk in here and paint all my stuff and all my stuff is unpacked and all that and organized, then I will definitely be doing a room tour. I just don't want to do it right now because it's kind of a mess and yeah, the you just wouldn't want to see it right now. Um, I saw something else. So next up is organize slash clean with me. So these are usually really popular too, especially since now, I guess it's almost summer. I think it's officially summer on June 22nd, but it's pretty, even though it's not officially summer until like June 22nd, it's still pretty much summer. It's not really spring anymore, I don't feel like. But a lot of people do like spring cleaning or summer cleaning or any kind of cleaning, like deep cleaning. Like, say you organize your books, you deep clean your room, you deep clean your whole house, stuff like that. People really like to watch that. You can always add, like, some really, like, calming background music for it. And, yeah. And then next up is what's my backpack. So this could be, like, what's my backpack for road trip, like I did. What's in my mini backpack? Um, I guess something. Um, what's in my school backpack? What's in my day backpack, which is the same thing as mini backpack? But yeah, just like what's in any of your backpacks. And then road trip slash vacation vlogs. So I literally like, obsessed with watching vacation and road trip vlogs. And, like I feel like a lot of people make them. And like those are really always really fun to watch. Like people go on road trips or vacations and vlogs are just so much fun to watch. And those usually get a lot of views too. Because you can kind of take your viewers wherever you're going and they can kind of experience your trip with you. And then next up is how to grow your YouTube channel in 2021. So this is also really popular because a ton of people are have started YouTube channels like during the pandemic because they're bored and we don't are you like don't have school or something like that. Or because you just want to start a YouTube channel. But if you're like me, I was literally at like 10 subscribers for like four months and then I started watching videos like how to grow your YouTube channel and that really helped me. So that would definitely be really popular, like telling people how they can grow their YouTube channel. And yeah, moving on. And then next up is how to be productive. So now that a lot of people are like um, going back to work, this is really probably for your kid, but um, going back to work and stuff, and life is kind of getting back to normal, I guess. People are trying to figure out ways to be productive, or even if they're still having to stay at home, how to be productive. Considering we've all, I can admit this too, we all can be kind of lazy this year, this past year and a half with COVID and everything, you can stay at home, but now it's time to be productive. So definitely those do really well too, like teach you how to be productive. Like, for example, definitely if you want to be productive, get a planner, like you get an online one, like I recommend like Notion, that's really good, or just get a simple like um, paper planner, or you can make your own. And yeah, there's just so many different ways that will help you stay productive. And then study with me. So these are always really popular too. These are always so calming and aesthetic to watch. Like these are kind of like studio vlogs, but they just like you study with people, I guess. <laughs> and for the most part, I guess you, they're not really teaching you, but I mean, I guess they could teach you. But you just like, it's something calming and like soothing to watch. I mean, I think you probably listen to one of these like while you're meditating or something, or in the mornings, or if you just want some background noise. And yeah. Okay guys, so it's now the next day as you obviously have some wearing different outfits, but um, I actually stopped filming yesterday because my mom came out for lunch, as you can probably hear in the previous um, part of the video. So for the last 25 ideas, I did half yesterday and I'm doing half today, I'm going to try to go relatively, relatively fast through this. I was kind of slow yesterday and it was like 15 minutes of me talking, so I'm going to try to go through these pretty fast and yeah. So let's see where we left off. We left off on summer bucket list. And the next up is Day of My Life, 
Paul slash trial, drive with me, my brother choose my outfits for a week, subscribers to sign my routine, how to find your stick, how to stay organized, which those are always really popular, um, spring slash summer outfits, which would be something you could do right now because it's almost summer and it's, I guess it's still spring, but it's pretty much summer and it feels like summer. So. And the next up is pack with me. What I eat a week, how I make my thumbnails, video ideas that will blow up your channel, aesthetic intro templates, shop with me slash shopping vlog. And if you're going to do that, make sure you do a haul and a trial after or in the video. And then also how to be aesthetic because everybody loves aesthetic things and learning how to be aesthetic. And then next up is slipper vlog. And how to start a YouTube channel because everybody needs like tips and tricks on how to start. Like I wish I would have found somebody when I started my YouTube channel. So what I mean videos when I started my YouTube channel about how to start a channel for like kids. Um, how to have a successful YouTube channel, which is really important too. How to have an aesthetic YouTube channel, which aesthetic YouTube channels are so cute and like they're just so aesthetic. <laughs> And then number 47 is bake slash cook with me. And these are always so relaxing and fun to watch. And then number 48 is what to do with your board. And I actually did this video, so make sure to check it out. Um, try and get my life together, which, yeah, I think everybody can relate to that. Transforming into different aesthetics, which I really want to try this video. I think it'd be really fun transforming different aesthetics, like soft girl, e-girl. Like, I talked about all the different aesthetics. And another video I did called Find Your Sex. Make sure to check that out, too. And then try my subscribers' favorite startup drinks. So I think it's really fun too. You can actually do like several different videos for this. Like you do try my subscribers' favorite Starbucks drinks, try my subscribers' favorite holiday drinks, their favorite fall drinks. Like you do this for all kinds of different seasons or different restaurants and stuff. And then the very last one, but certainly not least, is back to school supplies shopping slash haul. So this is also really popular too with back to school season. I mean, it's not really coming up just yet, but once summer over is over, it will be coming up. So, if you're going to do back to school supplies shopping, definitely do a haul after because people just want to see what you got and stuff. So, those are all the ideas, all 52 of the ideas um, that will blow up your channels. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and have an amazing day. Bye!